Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I have bought my family to feed them this week. So this whole shop, there's 10 meals here. Some of them are doubled up, um, but it cost me 60 pounds. So these, when I say they're gonna double up, I mean like it's sometimes cheaper to buy in bulk and then just create two of the same meal and freeze one. So when I take you through, I've got actually seven new recipe ideas here that I'm gonna share with you. So what I'm also doing next week, I'm going to bring out a video where you feed your family for three pounds for a meal. So I did one of these a little while ago where it was two pound meal ideas, but it was kind of quite veggie based, whereas this one is going to be like include more meat in your meals as well. So if you want to see that video, I'd love for you to subscribe because like I said, it's gonna be coming on next week. So definitely look out for it. Cooking like this is a great way to keep your weekly family food bill right down. We often eat like two and three pound meals for the family each night. And it just means that I can go out and do like a big shop like this for 60 pounds. So I'm just gonna take you through each of the meals now. And then next week I will show you how I'm going to be cooking them all. So yeah. Hope you enjoy this video, here we go. Right, so these are my miscellaneous items here. I've got some crisps for Rory's lunchbox. I've got some um, porridge for our breakfast. I've got some vegetable stock. These are the kind of things that are gonna be using a lot of the meals I'm gonna show you just now. So I've got loads of onions, I've got garlic, I've got one pepper left because I have taken those out already for the different meals. And then I ran out of rinse aid this week as well, so I had to get some of that. Um, and then here, I haven't bought bread because I'm gonna make my own bread. So I've just got some, um, this is wholemeal bread flour so that every night or every kind of second or third night I can just make my own bread and then we'll have that for the rest of the week. So the first meal I'm going to make is some homemade gnocchi. I made this as a Sunday recipe the other day so I'll link the video down below. But basically all you need are some potatoes and then you just mash those up really, really finely. And then you just add some flour which I've already got because I made some of this the other day so you have to get some really fine flour like double zero or all purpose. And then I literally just serve it with a bit of garlic which I showed you earlier, um, some olive oil and then rock it on top. It's absolutely delicious. Next up, I'm going to be making some chorizo risotto. So I can actually make two lots of risotto out of here because I'll only use half of this chorizo. And then I can use the other half for another meal out of this. And then obviously I've got loads of this risotto. This was from a refill store. So that's why it's in this container and I didn't get it from the shop. So with this as well, I'll also use one of my onions and some garlic that I showed you before and also one of my vegetable stock as well. Right, so this next meal is also a double meal as well. I bought a big 750 gram of this steak mince. This is the beef mince. Um, and I will just make one big lot here, which is why I've got so many potatoes. I'm gonna make cottage pie. So I'll just, um, to make up my mince, I'll do one onion, some garlic, the mince, chopped tomatoes, which I've already got, because I buy those in bulk just because it's cheaper, and then I'll always have some leftovers. And then I will also add some like Liam Perrins and soy sauce as well. Um, and then I'll make my mash and then put loads of grated cheese on top. And then, so like I said, I'll make two, and then I'll pop the other one in the freezer for the following week. Over here, I will be making some veggie chili. So I've got some rice from a refill store as well. And then I've got one courgette, two peppers, and I have also got these red kidney beans. So I've already, like I said, got some um, chopped tomatoes as well. And then I will just add some like paprika and chili powder and bits like that to this, which I obviously already have because I always have all my herbs and spices. Um, so that's what I'll be making with this. Next up, I actually bought this lot because I thought this would be for one meal, but I didn't realize how big the rice noodles would come. And I also didn't realize how big each tofu packet was as well, like that's enormous. So this can make two separate meals, but the same meal, if that makes sense. I saw this on Instagram the other day and it looked absolutely delicious. It's like a stir fry, but with Brussels sprouts, and then we've got bean sprouts as well, vermicelli noodles, um, some tofu, lime juice, and then I need to make my own little um, stir fry sauce. So I'll make that out of maybe different things for each one. So maybe one will be made out of like a peanut butter base and the other one might be like more of a sticky sweet kind of taste but I'll have the same ingredients in each one and then I'll just top it off with some um, crushed peanuts as well. Right next so this is actually going to be my Sunday meal so I think this video will go out after I've done this so I'll link it down below if it, it has gone out after. Um, I'm going to make some chicken kievs like homemade chicken kievs so basically I'm going to like chop these chicken breasts um, 
down the middle in half and then I'm going to stuff them with some cheese and then I will mix up an egg I've already got that so I get that delivered from um, Milk and More so I mix up an egg and I'll put like a pot of flour and I will use one piece of bread and I'll like whiz it up in my Nutribullet so I make some breadcrumbs and I'll um, just coat the chicken breast that I've got the cheese in it in some flour then egg then some breadcrumbs and then I will just fry them a little bit or pop them straight in the oven bit of a healthier way to do them in the oven and then I'll serve it with some salad as well right for this meal I'm going to be making some fish cakes so I'll probably use just two tins of that tuna three potatoes and I'll just like um, mash the potatoes up add the tuna in I'll use an onion and some garlic as well just mix it all together and then shape them put some breadcrumbs over the top of them and pop them in the oven and I'll just serve them with some broccoli on the side because you've got your carbs in your fish cakes and my boys normally have like two fish cakes each um, then I just need to serve it with the broccoli my last meal here is going to be some macaroni cheese this is Jamie's favorite favorite dinner so as you can see I could probably make more than one I could probably use half in the first one because this is a kilo bag and I usually do about 500 grams of pasta for the four of us so I'll just make up like a bechamel sauce so I've got my flour already and my milk from milk and more so I just use some butter um, and my milk and my flour to make the white sauce I'll add in a teaspoon of Dijon mustard as well I'll also fry off some onions as well and add that in because it just gives it a really really nice little like depth to it and then obviously to make it a cheesy sauce I will put some grated cheese in there as well and then I just pop it in the oven for about half an hour to let everything crispen on top you can put some bread crumbs on the top as well to kind of make it a nice like crusty top and it's really really tasty and then lastly I have just got a pile of fruit so I've got some kiwis some pears and some apples as well and that's my food shop complete for this week. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of meal inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe to see that three pound meal video go on next week. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.